Hi, Coach. After a split against St. Cloud, you're finishing up non-conference play and going on the road to face face Bowling Green, um, team that you beat in the closing seconds uh, a month ago. That kind of got things started on in terms of wins on a on a better path for this program. What do you expect the second time around in their barn? Well, we know that they're a real good hockey team, and um, they play hard. Um, they've got good skill, and uh, they're well coached. So uh, we're going to have to go and play our best and uh, make sure that we're focused on, on the details and playing a good team game. These last few weeks, what have you liked about some of the, I guess, resilience that the team has, has shown? Obviously, the spot that they started the second half in isn't ideal, but it seems that things are starting to come together in a positive way. Well, it's more to what we expected uh, this team to, to compete every night and to give ourselves an opportunity to be in games and um, you know, and then execute some plays that uh, might allow you to win some games. And um, that's the way we thought the season would, would have gone from start to finish. Obviously, it hasn't gone that way in the first half, and uh, those are things you, you can't control. But I do like the way our team's playing together and um, the way we're playing for each other and focused on uh, making sure that uh, we pay attention to detail and that we compete hard. Um, at the end of the day, the results are are going to be what they're going to be. And uh, But the way you go about playing the game and the way you go about preparing to play the game is uh, it's always been the most important thing for us in, in our program. With as many young players as you were breaking in uh, to start the season, obviously it sometimes takes a little while to find some chemistry in terms of who plays well together. I feel like the team's starting to kind of find their legs a little bit and kind of figuring themselves out as far as just line chem chemistry and who really complements each other. Well, we've changed the lines quite a bit. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of it has to do with just our attention to detail and um, our focus. I, I'm not a big believer that um, it's all just on chemistry. I think you have to work for that. I think you have to uh, understand each other. And, you know, th the way we play um, has a lot to do with the compete level. And um, I think guys are now competing. And so lines feel good about each other. The guys feel good about their roles. And um, a lot of good things happen when you work hard. And, uh, our, our habits have been real good since you know the start of the new year, and uh, we got to continue with those with those habits. You speak constantly about how there's you know no nights off in this league, and you've been kind of bouncing back and forth from conference play to non-conference play since the start of January, facing RPI and Bowling Green, uh, off and on with conference teams. How much ha has playing in this league kind of helped keep you? sharp for some of these teams like RPI and Bowling Green who are kind of the same spot you are of trying to claw their way into the, the tournament and Bowling Green chasing a conference title themselves? Well, I, I would I would probably say the reverse is true as well. We're playing really good competition. Uh, RPI and Bowling Green are top 20 teams in the country for a reason. They're really good. And, uh, and so our non-conference games have prepared us for our conference games. And and our conference games have prepared us for our non-conference games. We are not going to play uh, an easy schedule. Uh, we never, in the last few years, we haven't done that. We're not going to do that in the future, and we want our guys to play the best, and we're playing the best. Bowling Green is one of the best teams in the country. Uh, they're competing for a championship in their league, and we have a, a tall task on Friday uh, in their rink, which is a tough building to play, and we're going to try our best and, and focus on – preparing our best um, throughout the week. And uh, when Friday comes, we're going to go out and leave it all on the ice. You alluded to it a little bit. Um, obviously, the second half started with a lot of home games. And now the reverse of that, getting mostly road games these last uh, few weeks leading into the, the playoffs. What does the team have to do as far as just keeping that same mentality and taking that what the gains that you've made at home onto the road these next few weeks, including especially on Friday? Well, we'll focus on practice tomorrow. Um, that's the only thing that we can control. And then we'll worry about practice on Thursday. And then we'll worry about the game on Friday. And we'll continue with that mentality and that mindset the rest of the way. Um, you know, we have a saying that uh, we try to be the best that we can be every day. Uh, and that's true for this time of the year. Um, everybody's comp 
I mean, you're competing for something. Everybody's going to play desperate hockey for something. And, um, and that's the way you have to approach it. And you start thinking about things down the road or things that have happened in the past, you're going to find yourself um, watching some hockey here in the next few weeks instead of playing. So um, we, have to, we have to control the things that we can control, and that's practice tomorrow. Okay, thanks.